Hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid. In this video, we're looking at an annoying bug inside Power Query's IntelliSense, and a way that we can kind of get around it. Now, I must say thank you to Wynne Hopkins and Ken Pools, who I think were the first people to demonstrate this workaround that I'm going to show you in this video. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, here we are in Power Query. You can see that we have a value column and all we want to do is to calculate what percentage each one of these values is of that value column. So from the add column ribbon, I'll click custom column. I'll call this percent of total. And that's going to be my value divided by the list.sum. I can see list.sum there, so I'll press tab. And then it's called my change to type step. So for my previous step, which is change type, I want the value column. Close that bracket, no errors. I click OK. Then it says expression error. The name list list dot sum wasn't recognized. Make sure it's spelled correctly. But I didn't type list list dot sum. And this is the bug that we have. So if we take this out, you'll see that if I type list dot su, as soon as I press tab, Power Query changes it to say list list.sum, which isn't what we want at all. So the way around this is if we type list sum and then press tab, it then adds that formula correctly. The other option is to avoid using the word list at all. So type sum, it comes up with list.sum, I can press tab, and that also enters that formula correctly. So it seems that in this window, whenever we try and write the M code ourselves, we never want to add the dot. It's the dot that seems to make Power Query create this error of duplicating that first word. So list.sum, open bracket of my changed type step, capital T on that, my value column, square bracket, close open bracket, okay. There we go, and we've now got a percentage of our total value. So hopefully that's a useful tip that you can use to avoid some of the frustrations with Power Query's IntelliSense. As I said at the start, a big thanks to Wynne Hopkins and Ken Pauls for working out this method around leaving out that dot. Well, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.